Hey lovelies and welcome back. So today I want to talk to you about visualisation using a dream jar. So let me explain a bit more about that. Visualisation is such a powerful tool. I don't think anybody can argue with that. People around the world visualise all the time um, using visualisation and manifestation to get what they want out of life. And there is some science behind this. There are lots of studies, lots and lots and lots of studies that show that what the mind thinks is as powerful and as strong as taking action. So if you combine what you're thinking and seeing in your mind um, with taking some action, then you can see how powerful that can be. But the reason I wanted to talk about it today is because working with the clients that I do, both business clients and life coaching clients, I know that some people struggle with visualising. They either don't know how to do it, don't know what to visualise, they're at home on their own, got nobody to help them with it, thinking, oh, what, you know, what, what should I be doing? What's the most effective way to do this? Now, if you're in a group and you're visualising, that can be different because usually there's somebody leading that visualisation and they're talking you through it and it's just easier. You know, you usually sat with your eyes closed, they're telling you what to visualise and you're getting on with it and all's good. But if you're on your, when you're on your own, it can be a little trickier. So I use a dream jar. And the reason I use a dream jar is because I also struggle a little bit with visualisation when I'm at home on my own in my little office on a morning, because I try to do it on a morning thinking I need to visualise because you know I want to get some action done and visualising it is going to help with that. And I can sit there thinking, oh, you know, I'll, I'll try it, I'll try and visualise and sometimes struggle. It's not always something that comes as natural to me as it perhaps does to other people. So what I do is use my dream jar and I use it every morning. So I've got one here, I've got it here in fact. This is my dream jar. And it's basically, as you can see, just a, a jar. I don't know if you're seeing that in the lights, I'm sure you are. Filled with lots of paper, little bits of paper. And basically what I've done is I've, I've just got any old jar really from any old shop and got lots of little pieces of paper and I wrote on each one either a dream or a goal or something that I really wanted to happen for whatever reason. And every day I open it up, stick my hand in, pull out a piece of paper and whatever is on that piece of paper is what I visualise at that point. So I will get a piece of paper out, look at it, take a deep breath or two, close my eyes, just try and get calm and then visualise what's whatever is on the piece of paper. And that does two things really. Obviously it settles me down, calms me down, gets me ready for the day, but also it gives me an anchor. It gives me something to visualise because it, the piece of paper has told me what I'm visualising that day. So I don't have to think of what am I going to visualise today. I don't have to try and you know have that conundrum with myself and what's best to do. The, the piece of paper tells me. And because every piece of paper has got something on it that is really key for me and really important to me, then it's never a wasted visualisation because I'm always visualising something that I want. So I found that really useful and I just wondered whether you might too. And because it's in a jar, I can carry it with me. Um, if I'm going somewhere, um, perhaps I'm going to do some um, speaking or I'm going to a networking event, and when I get there, I just want to centre myself and visualise um, you know, something that's going to make me feel good and strong and confident, then I might use it sat in the car. Um, so yeah, you can use it in all sorts of ways. I have worked actually with um, horse riders on confidence issues. And that's not a great big part of my work, but because I'm a rider myself and I used to be an editor of a horse magazine, people come to me every now and then for advice about that. And this is a good tool for them because I ask them to take it with them when they go to the yard and all their um, dreams and goals and visions are around riding and, and their horse. And I ask them to do it before they get out of the car to go say hello to their horse and start riding just to give them that boost of confidence they need to get on board and do a good job on riding their horse because the horses deserve it. So it can be used in all sorts of ways and why not give it a go? I'm going to pull one out now just to see what I get. I'm not going to do the visualisation with you, but it might be interesting for you to see what I've got in my little square. Could be embarrassing too, but here goes. This is what I would be visualising right now if I was to use this scrap of paper. 
it's a good one. I want to be able to pay my son's mortgage off in three years. I really would love to be able to do that. He uh, bought a flat in London in um, June of last year. It's now January 2020, so it's June 2019. And um, it's an expensive house. It was in London. And I would love to be able to help him pay his mortgage off. So that's one of my dreams. And I could visualise that. I could sit down, close my eyes, take a deep breath, get calm in breaths into me and just visualise what it would be like to, you know, say to Lars, I want to pay mortgage off and transfer the money to him to do that. And that obviously will urge me along in my business and to have more success in my business because to do it, I'm going to have to earn quite a bit of money. Anyway, that's enough about the dream job. I think you've probably got the gist. Um, give it a go. And if you do give it a go, please let me know how you get on. Stick it in the comments below and um, I'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to subscribe if you like what you're hearing from my channel and um, just bong that subscribe button wherever it is and also ping the notification bell so you hear from your phone or any device that you're near that I've uploaded another video and you can hop on and watch. See you soon guys, have a great week.